Brady at the board. Nurkic is out there with Grayson Allen. And for Dallas, the star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Green is out there with Jones. And it's Lively in at the center, filling out the middle. Game one of this great season to come. It's just so great, Clark, to be here with you. How excited are you? No more off-season talk, guys. I mean, finally, we get to play for real. Some games that count. Let's go like me on Christmas morning. I am excited. And here's Irving. That's a lively. And it goes down to points. Kyrie looking to get others involved. Nice awareness there. Look at the last game for Suns. It was a win against Chicago. Allen passes to Booker. From outside the arc. Now great is just Allen. That's good. And that one goes in. Hit very one tenacious shot. right there. Knocking it down from the perimeter while drawing the foul. So, Greg, when you think about the Phoenix Suns, what do you think fuels them the most? Kevin, I mean, the fact that they had a 2-0 lead in the 21 NBA Finals and lost. This team is really battling to get back to that stage. And if they do, they want to take care of business this time. playoffs a few years in a row the Dallas Mavericks Clark missed the cut in 2023 yeah disappointing end to their season on multiple levels and given the history of the map I would expect them to bounce back and get headed in the right direction soon and Katie's got the ball here for the Suns their last encounter was in Phoenix and their last time playing this cut foul trouble became a big problem for them the starters had taken early stint on the bench. They've just got to be more careful tonight. It's that simple. I mean, those guys are too valuable. They need them on the floor. The three for Doncic. It's good. He makes first shot of the game. Watch out now. And Doncic is down in from deep because he's unguarded. Nurkic is strong. Jones. That's to Nurkic. Let's it go with the three. Mavericks with the rebound. You know, he's not a knockdown shooter from there, but when you're that uncovered, you almost are forced to take it. Doncic against the ball and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And what a treat for the fans and for us to be able to witness a talent like Luka Doncic. Amen and amen to that, Kevin. A generational talent. All eyes are on him when he's on the floor. Hard not to keep your eye on him. He's so special in everything that he does. And every night he performs, you walk away to shaking your head at how good he is. That free throw good from Dodic. Austin and GA, the Suns trading tons of picks, plus good young players, all for Kevin Durant. And then this summer, training for Bradley Beal. It's clear they're going all in, constructing a super team to try and bring Phoenix its first NBA title. All three throws good from Doncic. Greg, what a remarkable run from the Dallas Mavericks in that 2010-11 NBA season. And some say it's the toughest title any team has ever won. When you consider the juggernauts they took out, including the big three of the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals. From about 19 feet, and Lively pulls it down. Dallas has gone one or two long range in the first quarter. Anjic passes to Irving. About two minutes played here in the first quarter. Back to Doncic. Tires from deep. Drills it from outside. Doncic has got a couple of threes now in the first for the man. And the offense in three or four. A solid start for this game. On the way, Booker defended by Jones. And Booker kicks to Nurkic. They can't stop the run with that one. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Putting a screen on Booker. 
near the three-point line. It's Doncic. And he buried that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Boy, Doncic so crafty and good at using screens and being effective in screening situations. He's a true scorer and playmaker. And the Suns call their first time of the game. The story on Luka Doncic. Last season, he played outstanding. He averaged about 32 points a game last year. Eight assists and eight rebounds. And talk about guys who just have a nose for putting up points. He is one of them. Yeah, he sure is. And he rarely has back-to-back -back -back games. If he has an off night, he usually follows that up with a big night. And so here's Phoenix. They kill by six. Here's Irving. Allen with the rebound. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Here's Nurkic. Outside for Beal. Phoenix, no good that time either. And here are the numbers now. It's been 10 on two points. Jones with the screen on Allen. Outside Jones. Off target from outside. Suns trail by six. Durant wishes to be. The shot's good. Durant commands so much attention. Part of the reason why he had a wide open teammate there. And here in the first quarter with a little over three and a half minutes played. Now Irving. 23 points his last outing. This is a delivery. Take a hand on it. And throw the ball out of bounds. Field touched it last. But let's take a look at last year's top score. Second, Luke Doncic. And looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. Here's Lively. Six to shoot. From 17 feet out. And the shot goes down. Doncic is 12 points in the game. Guys, this has been an incredible performance this court. I mean, he's getting the ball where he likes it and wants it and just going to work. Here's Durant. Picks it out to Booker. And the three of top. Dallas with the ball. He got a 12-2 in progress. The pass to Irving. Here's Lively. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Lively's got his second bucket of the game to go. Well, it's fun watching Irving tear the ball. I mean, when he concentrates on running offense, this team is really dangerous. Hooker, the best to KD. Shoots over Doncic. And Lovely pulls it down. Mavericks lead by eight. Doncic finds Irving. Here's Lively. Anjit passes to Lively, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. When you find yourself up double digits in the first quarter, you know you're doing something right. Well, they're doing everything right. How about that? I mean, this could turn into a blowout very quick. Beal, the pass to Nurkic. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot to here. A physical big, Nurkic embracing, going up and attracting the contact when he's trying to score. The Suns in their second and third free throws tonight. Free throw good, Nurkic. What a special opportunity Dallas has with a generational talent clerk like Doncic. Yeah, I agree with you there. I mean, he's special. And I think the Mavs need to do something with his presence in terms of building a competitive team around him because Doncic expects to be in the playoffs every season. And all three throws good, Nurkic. You know, it took Nurkic a while to kind of establish himself 
as a starting center in the NBA, but it didn't take long to see. It's a bowl he deserves. Here's Dodic. Oh, and he puts it off the glass. Wow. It's over Nurkic. In that 7-D wingspan, Nurkic, he can just gobble a shot. He knocks that one away with Thor. Green, the pass to Jones. Now, here's Doncic. He's got 12. High post cross, and gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. And when it comes to Luka Doncic, he's simply Greg, one of the best players in the entire game. No question about it. He's a threat to record a triple-double every time he takes the floor. As versatile and dangerous a player as there is in our league. That free throw good from Doncic. Luka Doncic is a do-it-all player. I mean, he does everything for this team including being a walking triple-double threat on a game-by-game -game basis. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Eubanks, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. And Keita Bateops subbed in for Durant. So he hits 1-2 from the strike. Suns trail by 9. That's Beal in the corner. Here's the 3. Connects from 3-point range. Beal's got his second basket of the night. And that's money from Beal. He's so crafty at finding space in that deep corner. Here's Doncic. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got his fourth assist in this one. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far. And if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. And these are his second, third free throws tonight. Wound up shooting 85 from the line a season ago, which is an exceptional percentage. And guys, the numbers don't lie. I mean, he was such a reliable presence at the free throw line all throughout last season. And the first one drops. Anytime Devin Booker is sent to the line, it's a win for his offense. He's pretty much automatic, and it's been that way since he entered the league. Dallas making a switch here. Kleba's checked in. Phoenix also making some changes. A Kogi comes in for Grayson Allen. Saban leads up in for Beal. The free throw's good from Booker. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his throw, it never wavers. Green passes to Doncic. From outside, off the mark. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Lee passes to Eubanks. Pass to Lee. The shot goes in. First shot, first basket. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for Dallas. Four-point game. Inside. And Doncic throws it down. It always seems like Doncic is playing with something cool. I'll tell you what, he's proving plenty tonight. And the Suns all time. In terms of finishing ability, it's hard to think of someone who tops Kyrie Irving. Greg, the list is short, particularly when you talk about guys of his size, okay? The bag of tricks is limitless when you talk about finishing in close quarters against bigger guys. There are a few that are in his class in that regard.
Take a look at some numbers for Devin Booker. It's coming off an excellent season. He put up about 27 points a game, five assists, and four rebounds. And he's such a big part of what they do offensively. Yeah, he's just got that nice feel, that sixth sense, on where to be on the floor to help his teammates generate points. Eubank finds Lee. Booker outside over Irving. No good from Booker. Mavericks leading by six. Here's Kleba. He has yet to score. As to Doncic. Shoots the three. And a clear foul there. There's a shot to triple. He'll go to the line for three free throws. You know what separates Doncic from his players, he's really calm under pressure, great poise. You can't speed him up. He plays at his own pace. That free throw good from Doncic. on the second and he nails the third Suns three by nine. He passes the book. Over Irving. Got from 16 feet. Booker's at eight. And that's lethal. I love how Booker's eyes light up when he gets a mid-range opportunity. Kleba sets the screen. Doncic. Rebound by the Suns. There's a cookie. Not scoring in this one. Hates Diop. The pass to Lee. And here's Booker. Six on shot clock. Another three for Phoenix. I tell you what, guys. There's not much more he can do. I mean, he's been on fire. Yet, they still trail in this game. Doncic dishes to Green. Back to Doncic. It's a go from deep. Good. And it's great picking up the assist. Doncic has got 23. And when they on to him, he has come through big time. And you've got to keep getting him touched. Booker looking around. Over to the wing. Here's Bates Dia. Another three for Phoenix. Great timing by Booker. Setting up his teammate for success. Mavericks leading by four. And Dallas Hall's their first time out of the game. Some changes. Williams, he's checked in. Jones and Tim Hardaway Jr. set in for Josh Green.
William finds Doncic. To the middle. And Cleveland sends it in. Luke is so smart to get other guys involved in the act and very good at not forcing it and trying to do everything himself. Rooker the pass to Lee. Nice ball move by Phoenix. HD out. Those three pointers off the mark. Mavericks in by six. Donchich kicks to Irving. Kleba sets the screen for Irving. And for Eubanks. And they recover. Hardway for three. Eubanks grabs the miss. Phoenix has gone for eight on their three point attempts, doing a lot of work from way outside. Here in first quarter, Booker no good. Dallas has gone three or seven from three point range in the first quarter. Irving passes to Kleba over Eubanks. It's hauled into the Suns. Booker with it. He's coming off a 16 point game against Chicago. And he was also a terrific creator in that game as well. His assist total show you what a fantastic all-around effort it was. And the officials call for a three-second violation. And the Mavericks making a change here. Hardy's checked in. And the Suns also making a change. Beal's checked in. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Six-point lead. Passes to Hardy. Williams looking over the floor. The pass to Hardy. Clock four. Fire the three. He's good on the three ball. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. He passes to a Kobe. And he hits the lead. The big steal. There's a Kobe. Three pointer on the way. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Knocked down the time by Josh Kogi. He's been working on that jump shot, and you can tell, trying to be more consistent with it. To the paint. And that one's good. Hardy. Hardy's got five points so far. Yeah, and there it is again on a lot of the possessions this foot had. They've established great inside position. Lee outside. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That at their attention. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. And here is Doncic over Lee. And another best for Dallas. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with punt blazing. It's been all about Luke Doncic for the Mavericks. He's at the quarter century mark, 25 points for in this game. And they have looked to him over and over to make things happen. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Mavericks. And, guys, they've done a great job feeding their big inside. They are just punishing the opposition in the paint. You know, I also like the fact they've been really aggressive in attacking from behind the arc. They could do a lot of damage from there tonight. The league is now great on any given night. We sometimes see team fall.
flat. Is it just a good draw? Sometimes players are tired right? and sometimes they relax. You know, this is why leadership is so vital. Setting the standards for others to follow. On the way in the front court, along with Williams. Audie is out there with Luka Doncic. And it's Kluka in at the center position. That's the line of the game for Dallas. Beal. Finally a chance to contend with these Phoenix Suns. The uh, for so long folks wondered how long he'd let us in a losing situation in DC. Now he has an opportunity to play in the duel. Back to Katie. Shot clock at six. Rebound goes to the Mavericks. Doncic is up four rebounds now tonight. Tipped away. Beal with the steal. Ball inside. He's guarded by Williams. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all content. Suns have been excellent at the free throw line here today. A fall is six for six. And last season. As a team, they knocked down 79% of their free throws, so those are numbers you'll be happy with. And you can't take those numbers lightly, fellas. I mean, their free throw shooting made a difference for them in a lot of their games last season. Free throw good, Allen. to be. Nurkic a screen on Williams. And Beal. Williams with the clock. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Hardaway from outside. Hands it from down now. Hardaway has got himself on there. His first post of the game on the deep ball. And now let's get over to the sideline and get a report from Dave Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The transfer of the Phoenix Suns last season to new ownership ended a tumultuous chapter for the team and the league. New leadership aggressively made the trade for Kevin Durant last year and for Bradley Beal this summer. It's a great roster, and the Suns' $4 billion sales price reflects the sense that this Phoenix market is one of the sleeping giants in the NBA. Kevin? I agree. On the rise, David, thanks. Beal find Allen. Suns bring the ball around. Beal against Williams. A shot from 20 feet away. Fouled in active shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. And one of the league's most gifted scorers, Beal relishes any chance he gets to finish while getting fouled. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And the Suns making a change here. Booker's checked in. Bradley Beal, Greg, I feel like he doesn't get enough credit for his passing game. You know, Kevin, he's really evolved as a playmaker over the years. So we, we all know how talented a sport and she is, but Bradley is now superb facilitating. Now he's the long-range keeper. The game going here in the second quarter, his second three-point of the game. Looker the pass, Nurkic. Williams with the block. 
the Nets in a fast break. Here's Hardaway. That one's all good. Now he's three for five from the field. You know, after a scoreless first period, he's really turned up a notch, building some momentum. Booker outside. Wine with his three. Dallas leading by six. On the wing, Hardaway. Beyond right. Another three for Dallas. Boy, from the looks of it, it appears the defense is fine with him taking the shot, but he makes them play when they do. Look at the pass to KD. And again, the Suns missing. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Mavericks. Temple lead. This is their best. Williams is spread on Beal. Hardy, no good. Phoenix has gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Well, that's good, and it's KD with the assist. KD got three assists tonight. You know, you look at Rand. I don't think he gets enough credit for a pass. He's excellent getting the rock to his guys. Now, Hardaway, 20 points for him as game against Buck. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. You got to give Hardaway doing your credit, guys. I mean, he's excellent at finding ways to get to a spot and then make the defense compromise. First trip to line for him here. Free throw is good. I think we all know that Hardaway Jr. is a really good scorer. I mean, the next step for him is improving defensively. Hardaway hits them both. Here's the He's got 11. Kicks it to Hardaway. And it's Durant with the rebound. Sus Real by 10. Has Booker. And there's Beal. from the free throw line. Beal's got eight points here in this quarter. And this is Beal at his best. He's cooking the grease that his teammates need to keep feeding. I believe the pass to Hardaway. Dallas, no good that time. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat shot and was maybe a step out of his ring. Over to the left wing. Three pull. Oh, Dante with a confident three ball. Boy, Dante showing you his competitiveness right there with the back at you three. The revenge trip. Some out called the Suns. Derek Jones, he's chipped in for the Mavericks. Irving comes in for Hardaway. Phoenix also making some changes. Eubanks, he's checked in for Nurkic. And Kata Bates Diop subbed in for Bradley Beal. Suns trail by eight. Book outside. Over Jones. Here's 
Eubank. The shot goes in. First shot, first basket. You've got to box out on the boards. When you don't, that's what happens. Jones with the screen on Allen to the inside. And Jones sends it in. Doncic knows he's the local point of the defense, so really good to see him find the open man. Booker against Jones. It's Durant on the way. Three feet up. And that'd be two free throws coming up. Officials on the court with the foul. It's on Luka Doncic. The Suns have an exceptional shooting free throw tonight going 9-9. Nine, nine. Design a better score in Durant. I mean, range from deep. The touch at the rim. Excellent handle. Seven feet tall. He does everything you want from your first option. He's checked in for Booker. And he can't hit the second. Dallas lead by seven. Jones kicks a Doncic. Here's the pass to Irving. Jones with the screen on out. And play steps whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And that's foul number two. Maybe you don't sit in at this point, but you really have to be careful and not pick up another forehand. Suns trail by seven. Outside, Katie. Allen outside. Off the mark here with the three-point shot. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Here's Irving. And the Mavericks score. No fault with the defense there. Sometimes Irving is just too much and too good, even from in close. You bang the pass to Allen. For three. It's good from long range. Allen's got ten points in the game. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Outsider in. Doncic with a screen for Irving. Down low. And that one is stuffed right through. And he just dangles from the bucket after sending that one through. You can see which team has the swagger right now. But you know what? You don't want to do too much to get an opponent riled up. Gotta be mindful of that. Allen shot is off. Dallas leading by eight. Outside green. And they double up. Doncic launches it. Three, no luck. Phoenix has gone for the three corners seven times during the second and been successful three times. Allen kicks to Durant. Bucket six. Shot on the wing. He makes that one drop all the second and five tries. Well, that jump is so effortless coming out of Durant's hands. I mean, it's cash money. More times than not. And the Mavericks call time here. Hardaway's checked in for Luka Doncic. And Phoenix also making a switch. A bogey's checked in for Kevin Durant. On defense, the Suns, they chill by six. Jones dishes Hardaway. Hardaway is screen on the 
and a wide open look for Irving. And a miss there on the drill. Uh, I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. He makes you pay on those nearly every time. Fifth and blocked. And they were top ten in opponent field goal percentage. They did not give up a lot of easy looks on that side. And you just brought up their assist. They worked the ball around so well. Their offense last season revolved around their passing game. good from Allen. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. Exit Kleba, he's jacked in for Derek Jones. He had the second from the line. point-blank range. Can't happen. Beals checked in for Phoenix. And that one misses. Suns trail by five. Has to beat Stia. It's blocked. Outside Hardaway. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Out of bounds, Dallas takes possession. These teams were last season's best passers. The squads with most assists in the NBA for the Suns. Tell you what, you had to pick one set, at least on the offensive side of the ball, that benefits your team. This is it. I mean, when you're amongst the league leaders in assists, you're doing a lot of good things. Not just making shots, but you're moving your teammates and you're moving the basketball. Mavericks leading by five. The three is good, and he got fouled in the act of shooting. This could turn into a four-point fight. The assist totals can just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mind up between these teams. Amazing watch. Remarkably smooth as an athlete, Kevin, and otherworldly when you look at his seals as a basketball player, particularly going and shutting. Talking pure basketball, he's one of the most entertaining players of the last 30 years for sure. Releases from 15, and it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Pass to Eubanks. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off that board. Fires for three, and Hardaway Jr. is good for three. Hardaway has got the lead up to 12 down for Dallas. Oh, great ball movement there. It's Beal on the wing. He picked up 18 points the last one against Chicago. And starts hot, and he's only out and hard. The member shooting has been just great so far, out at 56%. Irving pass to Hardaway. And it's off from three-point range. Suns relay 10. The pass to a Kogi. Clean against Beal. Back Allen. Over Hardaway. 
That good from Allen on the assist from Beal. Allen's got 15 points. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Kudo sets the screen for Irving. Here's one and that one is him home. And his eyes got wide once he got the ball inside. You just know what he's going to do with basketball. Beal, the pass to Eubanks. He kicks it to Allen. The three. That's it. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Pass to Lively. Dallas moving it around. Outside Hardaway on the wing. Green just fine to shoot. Lively, that's good. 12 points for him. This is some kind of performance we're seeing from him today. He is yet to miss a shot. Beal against Irving. Pass to Allen. Set the pick, but Trey, and that one released him. Send over to David Aldridge, who's standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. High scoring affair, Brad. How would you assess the first half? We got to defend. We're not going to outscore this team. We got some of the best scorers in the world. We got to defend. That's the only way we're going to win. So, second half, we'll be a lot better. We'll see how that turns, Brad. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So, we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. Hey folks, first off, let's take a look at the overall NBA schedule on tap for tonight. The Charlotte Hornets will go up against the Pistons out in Detroit. Tip-off will be 7 o'clock Eastern. Gentlemen, I can't wait for that game. We've been talking about it for a while. Two great teams just going at it. We'll see which style of play wins out. Moving on. In that first half of basketball, things are looking pretty good for the Mavericks. They've had that ball hopping, keeping the defense scrambling. And we're not talking eggs here, folks. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Ken Harlan and crew with the second half. you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. You know, Luka Doncic has been exceptional here, guys. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. Well, you know, in that first half, it was a common occurrence. He got to the strike time and time again. Checking out the group, Frank Vogel to start the second half. The big three for the Suns, all on the four. Booker and Beal is the guards, and KD at four. Allen is out there with Nurkic. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. in this league. Beal is hungry to compete championships at this stage of his career. Irving looking for an opening. And it's been a tough game for him off the support. Suns trail by six. To the inside. Durant. And Katie throws it down. Oh, 
just solid on the one-handed sand. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finisher. And now turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldrich. David. Thank you, Kevin. We all know Luka Doncic is a master of one-on-one -on -one isolation scoring. What Jason Kidd said, he knows how to use his body to angles. Sometimes as a coach, you want to run all the plays, but at the end of the day, without getting him the ball with enough time to create it. Kevin? That's right, David. Letting him cook. Thanks to the report. Nurkic finds Booker. Nurkic is screen on Irving. Near the three-point line, it's Booker. Mavericks with the rebound. Green's got his feet done in this one. And here is Irving. Six points for him. Jones with the screen on Beal. Here's Irving. Here's the drive. 90 seconds now into the second half. No good for Booker. Just not much success when it comes to it. Dallas again missing. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. And even on three break. Passes it to Doncic. Two minutes gone in this quarter now. The bad Jones. Shot clock at six. Outside Irving. Another miss by Irving. Well, an awful beginning to this half, guys. Missing their first four times. Here's Durant. Good. A nice assist from Burke. Durant's got four points in the quarter. Nobody better at getting inside and finding good looks. KD rarely forces anything. And he usually gets the best shot of him. Here's Jones. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting ball. And checking out the numbers for Irving. Coming off a terrific season. He put up about 27 points per game last season. Five assists and five rebounds. It's hard to wrap your head around numbers like these, but that is just me delivers night in and night out. You know, it's so easy for us to take him for granted to get spoiled with what he does. I think we got to be more appreciative of the kind of impact this man has in every game he plays. He's off on the first. And he's good on the second. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Surveying the deep. A tipped green with ball. And now gets him up defensively. Irving for long range. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Irving's at his third basket of night right there. And his son's all time here. And they were in the top half of field goal percentage as well. They had some good mates and a few bad ones that came to shooting the basketball. Never quite had the consistency of the top shooting team. And Greg, what stands out to me the most is their turnover ranking. They were never careless with the ball. I've never played out of control. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for Dallas. They hold a 12 point lead early. Third for a basketball here, and just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Well, you've got to be careful and skillful in how you guard Irving. I mean, he's really adept at drawing fouls. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. You know, he really did excel at the stripe. I mean, they could have asked for too much more from him when it came to knocking down free throws. 
and he made the first. Kyrie Irving, special for me. The skill the players will ever see when it comes to handling ball and soaring in close. And so Irving knows both of them. Third quarter action, just under three and a half minutes have gone. Hooker the best to Allen. Now here's Durant. Shoots over Doncic. Durant, no good. Unnecessary to go to fadeaway there. It wasn't needed. Could have just kept it simple and taken the easy shot. Wow, drew the contact in that three. Almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. On the night, free throw numbers for him. Nine attempts made seven. And the free throw line was a problem spot for him in their last game. Really struggled up there. Yeah, you know, he had a lot of misses for him. And it looked to me as though he just never was comfortable from the foul line. That free throw, no good. his first foul and we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection and that has got to help morale of this team let's see if that sets up a run here the Suns have gone four of seven to get things started here in the second half and Booker kicks to Katie Pass to Norkic. Hide the shoot. Inside. And finished off by Norkic. With excellent footwork, Norkic remains effective in those pick and roll situations. Irvin passes to Lively. Dishes Doncic. Oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the ball and will shoot two. It's going to be on Yusuf Norkic. And a moment now, quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Mavericks. Their accuracy in this one has just been on another level. I mean, the three ball keeps falling, and the defense just hasn't been able to run them off the line. And the thing I've seen that I've really been impressed by, they've gotten everybody involved. Unselfish, making that extra pass, getting that ball to the right guy at the right time for the good shot. The first free throw is good. Also good, so we hit both free throws. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. Seven point differential. Next game, they'll take on Pacers in Indianapolis at Dean Bridge Field. And their journey is just getting started. That'll be the second of seven straight on the road. On the wing, defended by Allen. There's Green with the three. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Suns trail by seven. 
and there's feed to Booker. And the call on the shot that sends in the line. That's going to be on Kyrie Irving. Such an active shooter. Love how Booker gets defenders to try and be physical with him. This is his third trip to the free throw on the game. The first one falls. Maxi Kiba, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Akogi's checked in for Phoenix. Both free throws hood from Booker. Dallas leading by five. Now to Doncic. Baseline try. Good and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got his sixth assist of the game with that last one. And they're really in a good position here thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. Beal the pass to Booker. And Maxi Kluba is going to pick up a foul. That's his first foul. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the start. The Suns making a switch here. New Banks has checked in. Kluba against Booker. Bucket is good. Booker's got four points this quarter. And the defense works hard on Booker, and they have to. His shooting ability will not be enough. On the wing, Dutchich. Oh, Dutchich wills it in. Coming up a big game. His confidence could be higher, and Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take. Shot is good, and Mavericks lead is cut down five points. That's in the bucket coming from Bradley Beal. And this is Beal's role. He's out here to score the ball, and he does it at a high rate. Andrews with a screen on Beal. Irving for three, rejected by Booker. And he's way off the mark this quarter. It's been up. He dishes it to Beal. This is it to a Kogi. Six to shoot. And here's Booker from York. Vic shot off. He had six points from long range in the first half, but nothing's all in here. Since there's the pass to Doncic. Here's Wyvern. New Banks defending. So somehow Durant is still a bit overlooked as a defender in shot block. Over Kleba. Outside for Durant. Let the three fly. It's rebounded by Doncic. Doncic has got his safe rebound here tonight. On the wing, Doncic. No one had more success at the ball line last season than this group of players. Kevin Durant is second. He was locked and loaded from the free throw line all season. Never suffered through any real lulls in that department. One misses. It abates the object in for Josh Akogi. And he sinks the second. Sun still by six. Beal deciding where to go with it. Fades back. No good from Booker. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet. Now Doncic. He has 38 in the game. Here's Kleba. Good. And here's this goes to Doncic. Doncic has got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. 
Beal and Irving. And a piece of it. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. Here's Booker. 15 points in the game. And again, the Suns missing. Early on, he got to shoot his way out of his funk. But later in the game, now, he might want to just give it up and look for his teammates to do the score. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell shocked. I mean, they're on ropes right now on their heels. And whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three point play. No easy way to hold KD down. He's slick, he's slippery, he's smooth with the ball. That's why he draws foul. Grant Williams is checked in for the Mavericks. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. And the wide open shot from Green. Misses the three. And so it Beal who brings the ball up for the Suns. Trailing here by eight. Booker with no one around. Good. It's Beal picking up the assist. Beal's got his third assist on the night. The way Greg, they're sharing the ball tonight, mesmerizing. Everyone's getting to touch you, and, and everyone's contributing. And a shot by Kleber, right open, trims the three-pointer. Kleber got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Mavs. Green and Booker. Pass to you, Bass. All right, a moment to check out stats. He's coming off an excellent season and a great touch around the rim. Top 15 in field goal percentage. Back to his free throw shooting percentage, second league. I never saw lapses in his concentration at all. Always completely focused, completely automatic. the free throw. A different look for Dallas. Hardaway comes in for Green. It's Hardy in for Lugansha. Difficult shots. KD on the wing. Pass 
to Eubank. In contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. So far in the game, he's 0 of 2 at the line. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. And, guys, that was an element of his game that he could not get turned around. I mean, he was really in a funk, and it lasted all season. So for the Suns, Watanabe comes in for Kevin Durant, and Allen subbed in Bradley Beal. And both free throws, good for Eubanks. 122 left here in the third quarter. My wing back to Irving. Williams gets to Irving. Hardaway with a three. It's hauled in by Bates Diaz. Bates Diaz got his seventh rebound again with that last one. Unloads nine. Shot's good by Watsonabe. Watsonabe's got it back down to within six digits for the Suns. Outside Hardaway. Hands a screen from downtown. Hardaway, no good. Suns trail by eight. Passes to Watsonabe. Allen for the three. Over by Williams. And you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I like how they got him a wide open look and face this. Now eight seconds separate two clocks. Shooting foul as the whistle blows, he'll shoot the free throw. He is three for three from the free throw line. Free throw good from Kyrie Irving. Both free throws good from Kyrie Irving. Sixteen seconds left, play in the third. against Booker. With one on the clock, and no good in the last second attempt this time. It's all about Luka Doncic. Dallas, he's approaching 40 points for him in the game. He's scoring in just about every way possible. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And how about a look now at our assist to the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Hey, that was a high-level pass no matter what position it came from. But it does make its hand out a little more when it's made by the big fella. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. Maps leading by 10. The star backboard of Donja Chin Irving around there. 
it away in the front court, along with Williams. And it's Kleba in at the pit stop, man in the middle. The one about there for the Mavericks. My goodness, have mercy. Working ankles like there's no tomorrow. Now on inside, he's covered by Irving. And that one clearly a foul. Get the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a late. So I'd agree with you there. First one. And the second free throw, but and so Doncic will bring it up for Dallas. After this game wraps up, they're off to Atlanta where they'll take on the Hawks. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. No good from Irving. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. The drive by Booker. Taken it by the D. He fights to the rim for the win. Booker's got 20 points. It's almost effortless for Booker this close in. He just drops the ball in the bucket. Doncic kicks hard away. And the officials have called the illegal spin right there. Beyond the lead, you can see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Catching up on the changes, Phoenix. Grant comes in for Unix. And Brenny Beal subbed in for Kata Bates D. It's Durant on the wing. Over Donchich. And the shot is good. The Maverick lead is cut down to seven. The bucket from Durant. That mid-range shot, a golden one for KD. And the pass to Kleba. Side Hardaway. Dallas to Gennison. And it's Phoenix's ball. Durant, the pass to Booker. Sit out to him. And a great assist by Booker as that one goes in. He's really picked up where he left off the first. Outside Irving. Back to Dungeon. He's feeling it. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And some sets here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Zions. We've seen them time and time again working themselves to the charity strike and making a living at the line, basically. Another place they've had the upper hand tonight is in transition. They've got a bunch of their point off the fabric. First one falls for him. A different look for Dallas. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Williams. And it's Hardy in for Kyrie Irving. He hits one and misses one each of the line. He did the important part at the line there. The heavy lift, if you will. Make this a two-possession game. Allen five Booker. Three-pointer. Mavericks with the rebound. Hardaway's got four rebound now tonight. And he banks it away. Hardaway's got 19 points. Well, Hardaway Jr. is a competitor now, showing you some real toughness. He's not going to give you an inch. He's going to fight you to the finish. Outside Durant. And a great assist by Booker as that one goes in. Booker's got his fifth assist in this one. It's to Hardy. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. It's good. The 
defense has just been unable to slow him down. Wow. What game. Screen by Nurkic. Here Beal. Oh, a dunk by Beal. And defenses have to repeat Beal's jumper. That helps Park C on that possession. Pass to Kleba. Fires the three. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Suns trail by eight. The Durant on the wing. A bit under three and a half minutes of pass in the fourth. A nice shot by Doncic. Doncic has got 43 points. Doncic using quick active hands. The fast break started beautifully because of it. Outside Hill. Nurkic set the pick for Beal. And the call on the shot that sends him to blind. It's been a long Rashawn Holmes. Just a low. I mean, at seven feet, Nurkic also moves well. And that combo gets him to the line a bunch. And great one of the finer points of the new collective bargaining agreement. Players in the G League Ignite or overseas no longer automatically entering the NBA draft when they turn 19. Yeah, it, it makes sense. If you think about players in college, they choose when to enter the draft. So only right to give pros that same amount of time. Maverick leading by eight. To the wing on the left. Doncic outside. And the double of Doncic. The three. Cleveland good. And so it's KD with it. He brings up the ball for Phoenix Sun. Solid play, a low block, and that one's good. Durant's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Pass it to Cleveland. Outside green. Hiding the lane. Cleveland, no good. Suns trail by six. Outside Beal to the paint. Here's Booker. And the dunk by Booker. And we continue to see Beal improve as a playmaker. Beautiful pass there. Dallas Hall's timeout. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gator. All the effort out there on the floor. And these timeouts can be such a huge factor in get a short rest and recharge in the battery. Switch here. Williams is checked in. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in what Jason Kidd went over with his team. He demanded something of his guys. He said, I'm not satisfied yet. Are you? You've worked hard, but we need to keep hauling it on. Don't give them any hope. Guys? Okay, David, much appreciated. Mavericks leading by four. Outside and away. Beal on the double team on the wing green. A 
got some Williams. It's a three. Good. Great ball by Green to shut it up. Green's got his third assist on the night. KD on the win. And come back down the shot. So it is shooting free throws. Boy, that's a tough take there by Durant. Gets off the shot. There's a mess come into play there, and he's able to draw the foul as a result. The free throw drops for Durant, and the Mavericks making a change here. So Durant nails both. Well, he's had a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. Doncic against Allen. Stolen by Allen. Booker outside. He gets the bucket. Booker's got six points in the quarter. And nothing you can do. I mean, at times, Booker is just going to score no matter what you throw at him. Down against Dasha. There's the pass to Wyden. Shot clock at five. Right side. Another three for Dallas. He's starting to heat up from outside. That's his second this half. Shot trail by six. Now here's Booker. KD looking around. This one for three. Kevin Durant bullseye. Money on the three. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but no, he can't do it by himself. Oh, and there's the alley Hammers the alley oop through. Oh, and the lead bigger on a ridiculous offensive seat. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley -oop. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleep. And, and you gotta respect Booker. I mean, he's added to his game every year and becoming a more willing passer. And that one's good, Dungeons. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rim, it is something to behold. Booker against Green. Outside Durant from past the arc. And Lovely pulls it down. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Yeah, tip for tip on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting front. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. Down the first one. Good Jones. He's stepped in for Hardaway. He's perfect from the line this time. And so is Durant with it. He'll bring it for Phoenix. Seven-point differential. Takes the three. Mavericks with the rebound. I believe that double-digit bounds now in the game. No good for Irving. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Maverick leading by seven. 
Lively, that's good. I like the setup to Irving with the pick. And here are the Suns now. Look around, son. KD on the wing. It's over Bondage. Here's Nurkic. Pops and layup for two. And this is where Nurkic gets a lot of his points. Staying active even after the shot goes up. Moving with it. On the wing, Doncic. Over Booker. And it's Doncic missing. Suns trail by seven. KD with it. Jones covering. Jones against KD. Over Jones. And Jones sends it back. Irving goes to to Doncic. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. Boy, is he really get after it here in the second half. Just drawing a ton of fouls. Good on that one. Eubanks, he's checked in for Phoenix. Good on the second free throw. Suns for by eight. Book outside. KD on the wing. Another shot. Eubanks, no good. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration, even for a NASA. Jones with the screen on the curve. Doncic fires from way outside. Sinks it. What range from outside? What? Well, he's really been on the roll this quarter. Seems like everything he throws up is finding bottom. Phoenix calls them out. It loose. Here you back. It's rebound by Dallas. Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against the capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. Yet another bucket. It gives him 51. Make it look easy. Suns trail by 13. 
And here is Beal. Pass Durant to the middle. Here's Weidler. Jigs outside. And double up Doncic. Irving for three. Another three for Dallas. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Beal again driven to the inside. And he paid it home with one hand. And he can hide his pass so perfectly. Now, what an assist. And oh, it's Irving. He puts it up for the Mavericks. They lead by 14. And it's out of bounds. Nice touch by Doncic. Phoenix has gone 2 of 5 on 3 full shots since the end of the third quarter. To the left wing, Eubanks the pass to Booker. Here's KD. And Jones pulled down. Mavericks leading by 14. Dodge is looking it over. And again. And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, GA really taking to the opposition. When you think about the All-Star game last year, great, some can think about the lack of competition. Uh, it worries me, does it worry you? Kevin, it's not. Suns trail by 17. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this match with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for Dallas. Not only did they shoot the ball better, but they had more assists. Yeah, I thought the passing in terms of finding the open man gave them the higher percentage shots. The ball movement was key for the win. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And what solid strategy. Building on that first win in the season series, they rack up another W to make it 2-0 with just one left this year against the Phoenix. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, with a dazzling game for Luka Doncic. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep him from dropping in. Inside, Ivor. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding up. And you can sense that these fans, the players, they are ready to celebrate. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clear. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. First free throw is good. Both free throws good from Booker. Guys, they have a really solid lead at this point. Definitely, and they haven't faced much resistance. Now, here's Hardy. So, no problem for Dallas is to get the win. A confident win, and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they built off that edge of being here and, and play with just a little more confidence than the opponent. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thank Evan. Luca, you played well and you got the win. So what made the difference? 
Yeah, I think had a, uh, a great game. You know, we had. A, I think it was a great game today. You know, we stepped up uh, together, a good defense, and it was a great win. Thanks for your time, man. Appreciate it. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As we leave you with our New Balance Player of the Game, Luka Doncic.